Hi there folks, Joel Sell, Outdoor Instructor here. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about tying ourselves some rope access cow's tails. You might also know these as being called lanyards, kind of go by either name. But before we get into all of that, I just wanna remind anyone who's new to the channel that you can click both the subscribe button and the bell icon so every time a new video comes out, you'll get a notification about it. So, before we get into the video, I've popped a harness on, but I figured I'd quickly show you the final product. So you're gonna end up with two long lanyards, like these ones, as well as, in the center, a shorter cow's tail. Now, this one doesn't have a carabiner on at the moment, and I'll explain that a little bit later on, but you will end up with those three different points for attachment. So, to kick things off, you're gonna to need to grab yourself a 10 foot or three meter length of properly rated dynamic rope. Take your two ends of the tail and we're gonna flake those through your hands until we find our center point. From that center point, we're gonna tie an overhand or granny knot into each side of the rope. So we'll start with this side, tying our nice and simple overhand there and we'll just repeat that on the second side. There's our two overhands. We're gonna pass our tail now through our main D-ring. So that one of our overhands sits up on top of it. Then it's a case of simply re-threading this knot. So we take our tail and we follow the knot back to front, keeping our lines really nice and neat. And you also want to ensure that the knot is really well dressed so all your lines are running neat and parallel to one another. There we go, that's one side. We're just going to repeat that with our second overhand. So find your other tail, pass it through the D-ring, And then we'll re-thread that second one. Again, keeping everything nice and close to the harness, as well as keeping the knot well dressed. Once that's done, you'll see that you now have two longer lengths of rope that's gonna be your two long cow's tails. And in the center, we've created this shorter loop. Now this should sit just about level with your sternal attachment point. That's our short cow's tail. And the reason we're not gonna keep a carabiner in there all the time is because as this is hanging down below us, it's gonna be between your legs and be rather uncomfortable. So best to stow the carabiner for that one on the side of your harness. So you always have it when you need it but it's not gonna be uncomfortable whilst you're working. So, how are we gonna tie these two long cow's tails then? Well, it's a fairly simple process. We grab the cow's tail with our thumb pointing back down towards the harness, and then using the tail, we're gonna wrap once round the main line and our thumb, wrap round a second time, going from low to high, so we now have a cross around our thumb. Keep looping that tail round, and then if we slide our thumb out, we can pop the tail down through those loops we've created. If we pull that nice and tight, we'll be left with what's called a scaffolder's knot. Now this is a slip knot, so it's gonna slide up and down, and we're just simply gonna put a carabiner into that hole at the end. So carabiner in, and then we're gonna choke that scaffolder's knot up nice and tight against it. Now it's important that on your scaffolders knot you've got at least a fistful of tail there. That's about 10 centimetres or more of rope. That's our scaffolders knot all set up. The last thing we need to do with one of these before we use it at height is set that knot. So we'll clip this into something low down and we'll lean into it so that we set this nice and tight onto the carabiner. Now we simply have to repeat the process with our second long cow's tail. 
So we grab it and again, with our thumb pointing back down towards our harness, use the tail to loop round our thumb in the rope one time, round our thumb in the rope a second time, going low to high, and poke that tail down through both loops. Again, we've got that nice neat scaffolders knot, our sliding loop, and we'll take a carabiner, pop that into the sliding loop, choke it up, and again, we would set that before we use it at height. So, now we have our two long cow's tails and that short one in the middle. I've been Joel Self Outdoor Instructor. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Mm -hmm.